Today I will be showing you all of my favorite, plus all of my books, and all of my paintings that I have done since I was six years old. Alright, so first I would like, I have a challenge for you guys. If you can click that subscribe or like button in five seconds, comment down, if you did either one of those, comment down popular P, hashtag popular P, alright? Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, comment down below, hashtag, hashtag popular P. If you did, if you liked this video or subscribed. So, the, I'm going to start with my books. So, my first book, and actually I really like this book. It was called um, Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. And it was like, it's by Robert C. Who Brian? That's what it looks like. And then my the second book is it's called What Was the Great Depression? And there's a series of like who is what what is and what was and yeah what was the Great Depression? It was about the Great Depression, and it was by uh, Janet B. Pascal. All right. And my next book, it was, it's, it's an only a girl's book by Catherine McKenzie. And it says, How to Be a Bible Beauty. And I really love this book. And um, it was really cool. And Case for Creator by Lee Strobel. There's like a bunch of case for blank books. And then this is Case for Faith. It's another one of the case for blank things. Case for Faith by Austin mm -hmm. And this, this is the last book, and it's called Know Who You Are by Tim Tebow. Um, and here are some of my very, very embarrassing paintings. So, actually, I think this one's pretty good. I did it last month. This is, yeah, I call it the flowery field. Yeah, the flowery field, even though it's not in your field. Alright, oh, let me show them the next painting. Okay. <laughs> and just saying, before you say anything, I did not do this. It was just hanging up in my room. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He laideth me beside the still waters. He, he restoreth Restoreth my soul. Psalm 23, 1 through 3. My mom got this at a Bible study, actually, a couple, a couple months ago. And this one is what, probably like the worst thing ever in history of paintings. <laughs> I did that one when I was five. It's a tree. I'm a very fat tree. And I did it in, in a tree house, so... This is my porcelain doll, Patricia. I tried to do a model copy, and I will show you show you to her at the end of the video to compare it. And um, and I did like my name to hang up on my like on my door on my like um bedroom door. It says Ellie and Crystal right here. And I did this one in my art class at my uh, once a week co-op at her school. Um, that's what it is. It's like a bridge and then it's the water and then it's the stream flowing. Actually, that's the sky and then the water stream. And then, oh gosh, I have no clue who these people are. And I also did this one when I was five. Katie and Brian. That's the worst picture of a girl I've ever done. And look, it's like, look, their hands are like knotted together. That's so weird. And I actually did this one last year in art class. We were doing, she had like a vase and some flowers and some fruit. And then we had to do a model copy of it. And I added some pink polka dots. And this one makes no sense to me. It's a house getting torn down by a tornado. And I don't know what the gold fly things are. There's probably leaves. And then there's like a bad storm coming, so I put red in the sky. 
this one is the most embarrassing of them all. I did this one last week. And this is awful. This is my little person. Hi, give me out of this horrible painting. And that's my moon. That shows you what I can do, how I can make a circle. Yeah, it's pretty much just black and white. And this one is actually pretty good for a six-year-old. But it's like a little playground with the ow with the sun. It's pretty cool. And then I painted this one for my mom for Mother's Day. And then I did that one for Mother's Day. And on this one, it wasn't really an absolute like best art. It's a turtle, but it has flour and uh, some holes through it because I actually stabbed it with a pencil. It has some sugar and flour like mixed in with the paint to give it texture. So, like, this is all sugar. Alright, and that's the end for this video. And please subscribe to this channel and comment down below what you'd like to see of my things next. Bye, guys!